Okay, welcome everyone. You know, we should have a prol proliferation of signs to hang up in the shul with many simchas. Um, Barish, you made it. I stalled that you shouldn't miss the Mishnah Yamas. So. Yeah. I, I didn't stall. Um, we welcome in Mr. Rosenberg. Welcome. It's nice to have you here. Did you just move in? Yeah, I'm in the process. Oh, so the process should go easy. I'm going to tell you a secret. We all did it. <laughs> and everybody survived. Okay. Barely, but we survived. Yeah. Uh, you should have gesund and everything wonderful here. Uh, after the daf tonight, the, after the daf tonight is a chok. So we are recording the Mishnayis. We learn the Ilanishmas of Rami Shaib and Shmaya Yosef. For the schus of Avram and Yom Benish by Malk Yudas and family, by the Fisher family, the Nishmas Basi Bas Rabbit Shlomo Ben Avram Alevi, Pearl Bas Ruvain, by Yo Kugman and family, and the Fush Lema for Mayor Ben Chaya Sarah. Um, we're holding Mishnah Hay and Mishnah Vav in the eighth parak. So remember the Kayan Gadol, or the Kayan Meshwach Melchama was addressing the nation before they crossed the border of Eretz Yisrael. And the Kayan Meshwach Melchama spoke, but of course his voice didn't carry to all the troops. So there were Shaitrim, there were officers that passed it around that everybody should hear it. So the Yasfu Shaitrim Ladabra El the officers also conveyed to the nation, the Amru. Mio Ishayare, who is afraid, Varacha Levov, and his heart is weak, Yelech Vyoshev Levesa. He should go and return to his house. And as a Shaila, who does this refer to? So Rabbi Kiva says it's Kipshotai, somebody who can't stand to see the enemy is ferocious. There's a lot of psychological warfare. Rabbi Kiva, I'm a Yare Varacha Levov, Kemashmai. Like it's simple meaning. He couldn't stand to look at the tightly packed enemy. They, they made it that you can't pass them. They were tightly packed. It's called, they, they were knotted together. Nobody could get through. Uh, and they were frightened at the sight of the drawn swords. This is somebody who is afraid of Averis in his hand. And now, uh, Rabbi Yaisi tells us a Chiddush. That really, no other reason would be uh, to return home. For the vineyard, for, for the house... But we don't want the sinner to be embarrassed. So therefore, we give other reasons for people to go away. So that it doesn't have to be, oh, look, there's the sinner. He's going home. Therefore, the Torah gave us all these other uh, reasons. So that he could pretend that he is returning for one of these things. You know, the, the Tyra shows incredible sensitivity, even to sinners. For example, we don't know what the fruit was of the Etadas. It might be a grape, it might be wheat, it might be an esrig. There is even one opinion, it's a very, uh, you have to really look for it, but there's even one opinion that says that it might be an apple. But uh, there's an opinion that it might be a fig. That's why they made the tunic from the figs. So there are, there are many. So why is it enshrouded in such secrecy? 
So Hashem didn't want it that people should say that's the species that brought death to mankind. Same thing is true. The halacha is, is that we bring kachay kachim on the north. So really, it's supposed to be that the chattis is on the north. But if only the chattis would be on the tzafen, then everybody would say, oh, there goes the sinner, he's doing smich on his carbon. Everybody would know he's a sinner. So therefore, we, we don't want to fashem the sinner. So therefore, we bring the other kachay kachim on the north also. Uh, we, 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 the most, probably most incredible example of sensitivity to a sinner is that the Rabbi Nishlam had it that after the donkey spoke and bested Bilam, the donkey died. Why? So people shouldn't say that's the donkey that bested Bilam. We worried about the feelings of Bilam. Bill wanted to curse God's clients. The Torah is very sensitive to the feelings of sinners. It's supposed. It's important to know that. It's important to know that we have to be sensitive about everybody's feelings. It's a, it's a very it's a very important lesson. Rabbi Yaisi, I'm a, Rabbi Yaisi says it's not for rabbinical sins. You know, there's one sheet that holds that if you talk in between. The Tfilin Shal Yad and the Tfilin Shal Rosh, your Chayzim Emarche Hamelcham. You return back from battle. Rabbi Yaisi, Rabbi Yaisi holds it has to be an Issa Daraisa. Rabbi Yaisi Aimer, Amana Lekain Gadol. If it's Amana to Lekain Gadol, Grusha Chalutza Lekain Hadyet, Mamzeres and the Sinu Yisrael Bas Yisrael Lomas and Lomamzer Hari Hu Ayarei Varach Aleva. It has to be only Al Divrei Taira. Similar to Alman al Kangal. It's very likely that Chalutza over here is mentioned only. We, we find several times in Chaz that it says Gush of the Chalutza, but it doesn't really mean the Chalutza because the Chalutza to a Kayan is not an Isidaraisa. So it's very possible it's not a Chalutza, according to the opinion of Rabbi Yaisi. Uh, but there is one opinion in the Gemara that if you talk between the Tvil and Shalyat and the Tvil and Shalraish, then you have to return It's interesting. Um, today I had an interruption and uh, I had to leave Satmer earlier than I usually do for my learning and I left my Talas and Tefillin there and I didn't put on my Rabbi Tom's Tefillin. I, I did the errand that I had to take care of and I came back so I made a new brach on my Talas because it was a very big interruption. It was over, over an hour. And then when I put on the Rabbeinu's time tefillin, I started to make the bracha. So I said, Baruch atah Hashem al-Kein melech and then I said, Baruch Hashem k'vayid malchus le'elam v'ayad. But uh, it reminded me of the interesting discussion. In the Minchas Elazer, that's the Free of the Kamukach Rebbe said, that if you put on Rabbeinu's time tefillin one time in your lifetime, you'll make a bracha. That's what the Minchas Elazer said. They told this over to Rav Steinman, and Rav Steinman said, that's enough of a reason not to put on Rabbeinu Tamsdil. So you're going to make one bracha of Atala, is enough reason not to make that. So you see two G'daylam look at things very differently. Yeah. It's a... Um, Okay, so now Mishnah Vav tells us, Now, the one thing we do not want is deserters. Deserters from the... That could cause terrible repercussions. Because if the, the enemy gets any inkling that we're turning in panic, they get strengthened and they become much more ferocious. So there would be, there would be people in the front and people in the back. People in the front would help stragglers and support them. People in the back were given permission to chop off the feet for deserters. Because it was considered a sakana to everyone. So look what it says over here. When the officers stopped to speak to the people, 
and they appointed heads of the troops in the front and in the rear. Mamidim zikifim lifneim, they uh, appointed people to pick them up in the front. Vacherim me'achereim, and other type of officers in the back. The keshilin shel barzel biyadein, the ones in the back had axes of iron in their hands. The kolam mevakesh laza, and whoever wanted to desert, harushus biyadei lekapeach eshoykov to cut off their, their shanks. Shetchilas nisa nefila. Because if they start to run away, that is a downfall. The Rav transposes this. Shetchilas nefila nisa. The beginning of uh, fleeing is when people start turning back. But it means that it puts us in uh, sakana. Shenema nos Yisrael lefnei plishtim. Klal Yisrael started to run from the Plishtim. And that caused a tremendous uh, attack against our people. Likewise, it says, That the Yisrael started to flee. And that caused that they should lose many corpses, that they should be a real slaughter. So to, to run away, is a danger to everybody, so they, people would stop deserters from running away. Um, Rabbi Issa, I just want to say that um, on Shabbos, we will once again have our Pirkei Avashir. Uh, it's for men and women, and it's at 6.20. Please come and join us. Also, uh, we have almost a million for uh, Shavuos night for our all-night learning and our uh, Vasikin minion. But I need to hear from a few more good people. So please, if you can join us for the night, please let me know. Uh, what? Uh, a cone? Yeah, that's a given? Yeah, well, I'll, uh, I'll keep them more than entertained. I'll have people with uh, Kashilin in the... In the uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs>